Okay, and we've got some breaking news here right now. The story first reported by India today. Things have escalated dramatically in Ukraine on day four. And so palpable is the tension and the possibility of a total communication breakdown in Ukraine that the country has now formally petitioned Elon Musk, the global corporate mogul, one of the richest men in the world, has been petitioned directly by Ukraine saying, you're sending rockets to Mars, but we've got rockets landing on us here. Please give us internet access via your Starlink internet company so that we do not get a complete blackout and get disconnected from the entire world. There is a real sense that there will be a total communication blackout with Russia closing in on communication hubs, server centers, internet service providers in Ukraine. And the Ukrainian government is scared that they will be completely disconnected from the world. And therefore, on social media, no less, a Ukrainian minister has written to Elon Musk and said, please give us Starlink internet access. Ten hours later, Elon Musk has responded and said, Starlink has been activated as a service in Ukraine. More terminals are en route at this time. I want to go across now to in India today's Maria Paisarenko and Rajesh Pavar, two fearless reporters who've been traveling across Ukraine. They both join me live from Kyiv at this point of time. Uh, uh, Maria, quickly coming to you first. A Ukrainian minister has just communicated to Elon Musk saying we need internet access in Ukraine and Elon Musk has replied to that. I'm sure you've seen that tweet exchange. Can you put this into context for us, Maria? Is there a fear that internet might be compromised and there might be a communication breakdown and that's why the Ukrainian government has reached out to someone like Elon Musk? Um, morning, right. There are, uh, there could be some problems with connections. At least, uh, this is what uh, have been heard on social media for this past three and already the fourth day. Uh, but so far, the official um, uh, speakers from the government, from the office of the president, and also from the state um, connection service uh, reported that there should be no problem so far, though any risks are still very high because Russia continues attacks on uh, different um, objects of uh, critical infrastructure here in Kyiv. Uh, as we've seen it uh, during the last night, uh, Russia attacked um, not only, um, there was not only chaotic uh, artillery attack, but uh, um, it targeted and damaged the um, um, building of a child's hospital, which is called Ohmadet. And um, in this um, shelling, uh, there were five, uh, five uh, people, um, uh, five casualties. Uh, one person, which is a child, was killed, and also four people, uh, three of whom uh, are also children.